We got some looks. while since we had a sit down actual full on book haul so we're so excited to be filming this today. We've been on a book ban for quite some time. We got some books now. We're pretty excited about it. I just placed an order from Target because they just had the buy two get one free sale which I have been waiting for since like last Black Friday. I did just graduate this past May. So a lot of these books I actually was fortunate enough to receive from my wish list from friends and family. So that's what a lot of these are today. I have mine here. I haven't opened them yet. So I figured we can open them here together. All mine are open. So <laughs> I opened these up as soon as I received them. So sorry about that. The first one I have here today is Jade City. I'm pretty sure this is a Green Bone Saga. And some of you guys actually recommended this to us a while back. I've been seeing it everywhere. I know the wave is kind of over, but everyone really really loved this trilogy I actually did receive the full trilogy, but they're heavy. I didn't bring them all today I just brought this first one. It's giving me Wizard of Oz wicked vibes just the cover right here It says winner of the world fantasy awards So I am so excited no idea what the actual storyline is about and I don't want to but the bottom says Jade City begins an epic tale of family and honor the godfather with magic and Kung Fu set in an Asian inspired fantasy metropolis. This sounds good. This will be my first Fonda Lee book. Let me know if you guys have read it. I'm sure everyone has already if you read fantasy, but I feel like by the end of the year, this is gonna be one of my favorites. Okay, so we're gonna open the single one first. This one got here a while ago, but the big box just got here like 10 minutes ago. Like as I was pulling yeah. up, the FedEx was pulling Like she up. didn't get out of the car because she was scared. Well, I didn't want to like walk up to him. Oh, I feel like it's Christmas. <laughs> they packaged it nicely. Thank you. It is Good Girl Bad Blood. When I tell you that A Good Girl's Guide to Murder was so good, mm -hmm. I enjoyed it so much. I actually gave it five stars. I read it in like less than 24 hours, I think. Mm -hmm. I was just super intrigued. The plot twist or the ending I did not see coming, which doesn't happen very often. I've just been seeing a lot of people reading the second one right now and really enjoying it. I'm excited to just finally dive into this. I don't love that it has the Target sticker on it but we know now to put the blow dryer on it mm -hmm. and maybe it'll come off when i found out the second book was going to be about pip and robbie i was a little more interested because you know with the one of us is lying the it's sequel like a is a whole new cast yeah. or all new characters so i think that would be good oh you're gonna try right now it didn't come off nicely <laughs> look you just said you were gonna do the blow dryer i know but i couldn't help it it says she released a true crime podcast about the murder cases they've solved together, which is so cool, That's actually. Cool. The podcast went viral. Pip insists that her sleuthing days are behind her. Well, I'm guessing they're not. <laughs> and I'm sure it's going to be another great mystery thriller. They're going to uncover something. I'm ready for it. The next one I have is the first book in the Poppy War trilogy. This is another one that I have seen everywhere. A lot of times that I see someone reviewing this, they've given it five stars. They just say it's so immersive and it's so involved. It is called the Poppy War, so I'm sure there's gonna be some battles, some fights, and a lot of action. I'm really excited. I don't know what the plot is. I'm not even gonna read it. On the front, it says they train her for war. She intends to end it. Okay, so we have like our main character trying to end this war. All I know is that it's a YA historical fiction high fantasy series, and that just sounds promising. Look at how I wait, wait, your address is on the <laughs> side. I actually do not like this box. This is it. This is how they sent it. Let's see. I kind of forgot what I got. Before We Were Strangers. This mm. one I have been wanting for so long. I don't even know what it's about. I had just seen it like really early on in our reading journey and it always got good reviews. I love that cover. Yeah, right? It's so beautiful. Oh no. Is it one of those? It baffles me you don't read anything about it until after I you buy just it base it off the cover and if I've seen good reviews or not, which is horrible. I'm reading this here, A Missed Connection, A Second Chance at Love. Oh! <laughs> you know I don't love Second Chance at Oh romance, no! But... That is so funny. Two videos ago you were like, now I know I do yeah. not like this trope. I'm not going to buy any more of these. Here it goes saying all this good stuff about them. Like we were so in love, yet somehow it all fell apart. We lost touch the summer after graduation when I went to South America to work for the National National Geographic. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Was 
actually like, I'm gonna go start my career. When I came back, you were gone. That's sad. I know. A part of me still wonders if I pushed you too hard after the wedding. What wedding? I see really good reviews on this. I think it'll be good. A little 3.5. The next thick one I have is Tell the Bees That I'm Gone by Diana Gobaldin. She's so cute. Oh, she is. I love when they put their picture on it. Yeah, very tropical setting too. <laughs> This is my first book of hers. I see this one everywhere. Back when I first joined that Facebook group that sells and trades used books, I had gotten this one for a really good deal. But now I see this book in stores for like 30% off or something. So I guess I would have gotten it for a good deal anyway. I just heard this one's really good. I think it's taking place during the American Revolution. Jamie and Claire were torn apart in 1746. It took them 20 years to find each other again. And now the American Revolution threatens to do the same. I think it's about like a family reuniting but like a war is coming I don't know and it says the best-selling author of Outlander does that have anything to do with the Outlander TV show or is that completely different this sounds historical fiction to me let me look it up real which quick. is kind of weird because you don't even like that I really don't love historical fiction I think it's historical fiction but I think it could also be fantasy romance who knows we're hitting 900 pages here. You're there 900 pages. pages. Um, I know it. And I'll be reselling this on Facebook. <laughs> Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. This one has been all over. I talked about it in the summer book recommendations video, but it has nothing to do with summer, I don't think. It's just like the cover yeah. is a nice one to have by the pool or something. This one is that one that's about a girl who gets contacted by her twin sister who she hasn't talked to in a really long time. Naomi goes over there to try and help her sister with whatever she's dug herself into. She ends up helping her sister and then her sister ends up stealing her car and her cat. So Naomi is left in this town with nothing and not only that her sister left her with her 11 year old niece that she didn't even know she had. So now she's stuck in a town with no car, no job, no plan, and no home with an 11 year old in this small town. They hated this girl, the sister. Obviously she's a really bad person, but since Naomi is her twin sister, everybody in this town thinks that it's her and they already have a huge problem with her right off the bat. One guy is gonna be the guy to help her out a little bit. This sounds fun and unique. Ooh! <laughs> Okay, this sounds good. I see what Gabrielle yeah. is talking about. So up next, I have book one and two of the Emperor Trilogy. I do own the last one. I had gotten it in one of the other book hauls. Better World Books, I think. Now I have the first two. I have the whole trilogy. Our friend Gabriella is obsessed with this trilogy and she's been telling us to read it. I'm excited. She's hyped it up. Now reading the summary, it does sound very good. Our main character's name, you guys know I'm not good with names, I believe is Riel. Gabriella will let me know if that's wrong. Basically, when someone tries to ambush her best friend, Riel takes charge and risks everything to save him by exposing that she owns some kind of power. In this world, the only people who have powers are prophesized queens. So this is like a huge secret. No one was supposed to know she had powers and she risks everything to save her friend. So now that this secret is out, everyone's kind of concerned because if you do own powers, you're either good or bad essentially, right? So she has to go through seven different trials to test her. She has to endure a bunch of things to make sure that she's on the good side basically it sounds so good i'm looking forward to finally read it i own all of it so i can just binge it if i really like it and this one had been going around fantasy book talk for a while i'm ready to get on board and know what everyone's talking about i see there's only two books left in here and there should definitely be another book in here they just didn't send it they just didn't send it which okay is awesome i will be contacting target about that <laughs> okay i did <gasps> what <gasps> It's fine. It's not bad. I did get the rest of the Folk of the Air trilogy. We read the first one. I think we both kind of figured it can only really get better from mm -hmm. there. The way that the first book ended was really unexpected. We definitely want to jump into The Wicked King and see what's going to happen. The Wicked King. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> So we kind of know what's gonna gonna happen with the Wicked King and then the Queen of Nothing. I mean, they kind of give it away. I know, I hate it when the titles give away. It gets so many good reviews. Yeah. Pretty much everyone was saying, you gotta keep going. That's how we felt about Akatar, so I'm gonna keep going. So the last one I have today is the Unwind Astrology. I received this whole box set as a gift for graduation. I had already read the first book, Unwind. So the second book, Unholy, has been on my TBR for a while now. Something I do love about this box set 
Is that when they're all together, they make one image? When you lay them all face up, they create an image as well. You guys know I love the Scythe trilogy. It's not unknown that I love Neil Schusterman. I love the worlds that he creates. The concepts are always so original. The concept of this series is really crazy. It's based in a world where parents can decide after their child is 13 years old if they don't want them anymore. <laughs> If that happens, that the child is labeled an unwind, and they get sent to these facilities where they get unwound, which basically means that they take each part of their body and distribute it across the world to other people who need those body parts. It's a crazy concept. Definitely some scenes are kind of like disturbing, uncomfortable, but it's written in such a great way that it doesn't feel like too gory or like a horror book at all. So I'm excited to see where it goes from here. Super interesting concept. Hopefully we get to these soon. Some of these are so popular right now that I feel like we will read them now. Honestly, I would read all of them right now. Exactly. And that's what needs to happen every time we buy. On Friday, we are going to be posting a 24-hour reading vlog. Again. Again. <laughs> I need that motivation. Yeah. I need to be forced. I have read one book this month. So. No. Yes. We like doing the 24-hour reading vlogs at the end of the month because it gets us those books in. Let us know if you have read any of the books that we talked about today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, we do put out new videos every Wednesday and Friday. So if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time. Bye.